YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. You got it locked to Television 87. You're hanging out with your girl Telly right now. I'm back with another video for you guys. If you are new to my channel, just stopping by for the first time. Thank you so much. Do me a favor. Hit me with that like, that thumbs up button, okay? So we can get more people to the Television crew. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button for me, okay? We back this morning. The album dropped finally last night. Drizzy Drake, Certified Lover Boy. Drop that 2 a.m. I was going to try to stay up and get that live reaction as it, you know, as everything was dropping, but I couldn't hang, man. I couldn't hang like 1.30. I conked out. I was like, you know what? It'll still be here when I wake back up in a few hours. <laughs> so that's what I did. I checked the album out this morning. It's a solid effort from Drake. Now, do I think it's his best album to date? No. But some people are saying that the album is trash, which I definitely do not believe. But I mean, honestly, to me, it's just like, okay. It's just okay. You know, it's one of those, like, maybe in the next few years, we can come back and listen to it and be like, oh, like, that was really, really fire. But off top, you know, I, I got a few songs that I rock with. But, you know, it's nothing, like, super spectacular to me. But I'm going to just let y'all know the songs that I'm kind of vibing with. Um, now, the first track that the first track of the whole album is the Champagne Poetry, which kind of threw me off a little bit. It was kind of hard for me to catch the beat. It, like I feel like production wise, something was kind of off because I felt like the background, you know how he has the, the beats a lot of times where people are like talking or mumbling in the background. I heard that more than what Drake was actually saying. So, like I said, it was kind of hard for me to catch the beat. But um that one was that was like okay, but the one that I really like effort where I really started bopping my head is that one with Jay-Z, The Love All. That's it. As soon as I heard that beat drop, I was <laughs> I was already like into it. That is the one. That's the one that's going to be played on all the radio everywhere. That's it. That is the one that's going to be on repeat for me. Um, Yeah, man. Jay-Z Jay -Z verse was dope. Now, there were some people who were saying, like, you know, Drake had, you know, several features on this album. Some people thought they were cool. Some people didn't really care for him. So what did you guys think? The features that he did choose were they like good features or do you think he should not have had as many features let me know what you guys think about that um the first feature that he did have before the one with jay-z was the one with Lil baby um that record is cool you know that's that's all right um i actually think drake and Lil baby could do a whole album together because when Scary Hours 2 came out, you know, they got two songs on there together. So, it's like, um, yeah. <laughs> they they work really, really well together. They should definitely, um, they should definitely do a, a joint album. What do y'all think about that? Will y'all be here for that? Uh, what else? Oh, the a track that is cool i don't necessarily care for the beat of this particular song but i love like the lyrics and just the whole overall message behind it is in the bible the one with dirk and Giveon. i i like that i really sat there and read the lyrics to it and i was like oh okay so you know i f's with that one but more so on a lyrical tip as opposed to the beat Another one I'm feeling is that TSU track, man. <laughs> that TSU track. That's definitely my other favorite. Like, I would say my top two favorites are Love All and TSU. Those are the ones that I could see myself just playing over and over again. That TSU track. Yeah, that's a bop right there. That's the club banger. That's the strip club banger. You know what I'm saying? He throwing them dollars out. The girl trying to get out the strip club life. She want to go legit. Drake's sitting there supporting it. <laughs> so I like that record. Um, man, I talked about in the Bible already. That In Too Deep, 
the UGK sample, as soon as I heard it slow down, I was like, oh, snap, he slowed that record down. So that was very clever. I like that he did that. Um, there was another sample that he had. The, it's the track with Future and Young Thug, Way Too Sexy. <laughs> right, said Fred? I'm uh, too sexy for my shit. I was like, oh, no, they didn't. I was like, no, they did not sample that. But that was actually very clever as well. That song is all right. You know, when you you in that mood, you trying to go out, you trying to party, you put that record on. It's not really talking about much of nothing in that record. Uh, what else do I like off of this album? Race My Mind. Race My Mind. Yep. I really like that one. I like the Drake songs that are more like... I know he's got his upbeat records, but the ones that are like really sl like slow and just that chill vibe. You know, it like... For example, Scary Hours 2, that Lemon Pepper Freestyle, that's my jam. Like any record that's like that, that type of vibe, I will automatically always gravitate to those type of records over the more like fast paced, um, you know, turn up tempo kind of records. But yeah, Race My Mind is cool. Um, the Kanye diss, I'm going to have to go back and listen to that again. Um, you know, anytime Drake puts a, a time in a, 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 a track, <laughs> you already know it's going to be good. Um, so yeah, let me know what you all feel about that, that diss record for Kanye. Was you feeling it? Was you not? Like I said, I'm gonna have to go back and, and check that one out again. I didn't really sit there and like marinate on it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, he's got a track with Rick Ross. We already know Rick Ross and Drake work well together, but I really wasn't feeling that song like that. It was okay. Again, more like of a, a faster pace <clears throat> um, record from Drake. Not the Lemon Pepper Freestyle. Lemon Pepper Freestyle is my jam, and so is Gold Roses. Like I said, any, those type of vibes, yeah, I'll, I'll always, they always get my attention right away. And um, the last song, the last song, uh, I forgot to write it down, but I think it was called Remorse or something like that. You know, that's the outro track of the album. That had a nice vibe to it as well. He definitely talked about his son a lot. <laughs> it almost seemed like every other song he was uh, mentioning something about, you know, his kid, his son, this, that, and the third. So certified lover boy let me know what you guys think man i if i had to really rate it like one through ten i would give it maybe like a seven i would say like a solid seven it's a solid album but like i said before to me it's nothing that is like it's just like oh my goodness like it was just kind of like oh okay <laughs> to me he has better projects than this Take care for me is take care is I would probably say my my favorite Drake album so far gone. That's not really an album. That's a, like a mixtape, but it made so much like almost got a Grammy off of that thing, man. That will forever like you know go down in history just because of what that mixtape did. But as far as albums are concerned, take care and. Nothing was the same. That that album kind of got slept on. But when I went back and like really listened to it, I was like, hmm, you know what? Yeah. So those are probably like my top two um, favorite Drake albums. Yeah. But that Take Care, man, that holds, a little, that holds a special place for me, man. I love that album. But anyway, what do you guys think about the album? One through ten. Where would you put it on the scale? Do you think the features were needed? Do you think they were not needed? Do you think, um, you know, which is your favorite Drake album so far? Um, some folks are saying he should release another album in October, um, you know, because of OVO and everything. But it is what it is. He dropped it Labor Day. It's the weekend. It's a long weekend. People are going to be bopping it, going back and forth between Donda and Certified Lover Boy. So, 
it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think about the album, all right? It's your girl, Telly. Television A7 is the channel. Do me a favor. Hit me with that like, that thumbs up button, okay? And don't forget to smash that subscribe button for me, all right? It's your girl, Telly. Television A7 is the channel. I'll be back with another video for you guys soon, all right? Until then, peace.